Welcome. Kaku continues his message titled The Leadership Secrets of Jesus, speaking about humility. Yesterday, he shared that humility means to be guidable and teachable. Today, he continues. Come along. Number three. Humility goes with authority. The meek will he guide in judgment. The meek will he teach his way. So here he's describing somebody who is under somebody. David is saying that I am the meek one and somebody is above me. God is above me. He's guiding me and he's teaching me. So at the end of the day, humility and authority, they are related. In Luke 7, 8, the centurion said to Jesus, I also am a man set under authority, having under me soldiers. I say to one, go, and he goes. To another, come, and he comes. To my servant, do this, and he does it. Verse 9 talks about Jesus' response. When Jesus heard these things, he marveled. I mean, to impress Jesus, God himself, then you have done something wonderful. Very few people impressed Jesus. But this guy impressed him. He impressed him because he got the definition of authority right. The man said, look, I have authority. I can send people. I can command people. But I have authority because my authority is derived from somewhere. Somebody is above me. He says, in the army, there is somebody above me. So because the person is above me, that's why I have this authority. Every time you see someone who has given authority, that person has somebody above him. And so the person has to be humble under that person. And in spiritual authority, the humility is optional. You can decide to do it. You can decide not to do it. It's optional. It's up to you. That's what the Bible says about Jesus, that he humbled himself. He made the decision. Somebody, doesn't have to, somebody can't make the decision for you. You make the decision. So, for example, take marriage. It says in 1 Corinthians 11, 3, I will have you know that the head of every man is the woman. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of man is Christ. So it's not like you just saying that, oh, I am the head of this house. No. For you to be the head of a family, a husband, a home, you must be humble enough to make Christ also your head. Otherwise, God will not give you that spiritual leadership that you seek. But do you know what is happening? There are a lot of husbands who want to be the head of their homes, but rebellious against God. It's a chain of command. If you break that chain of command, your authority will not work. They are interrelated. Don't, that's what, don't that be sitting down talking like a parrot. I'm the head of this home, but there is nothing to show for it. The relationships are both downwards and upwards. So those who are humble and subject to Christ, those are the ones who can exercise effective leadership in the home. Now let's get to the home. Ephesians 6.1. It says, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Look at the way he puts it. It says, Obey your, your, your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment we promise, 
that it may be well with you that thou mayest live long on the earth. For your information, this Anna here means listening to your parents. He says, obey. He said, that is what? Anna. But what I want us to look at is that he's talking to children. Then he says that, children, even for your parents to have leadership over you and for you to be listening to them, they themselves, they must be in the Lord. In other words, the Lord must be above their parents. Thank you for joining us. Today we learned that humility begets your authority as a leader because authority is derived from the person you are subject to. Join us again tomorrow for the continuation of this message. Before we go, here's a praise report to boost your faith. Got a job without a CV? Dear Kakra, I sent you an email to pray for me to get a job and replied that you had. You won't believe this. I got a job without an application letter or a CV. Glory to God. Thanks for your time. You can contact us, seek counseling, ask for prayer, order today's full-length message or order books through the following means. Call us or message us on WhatsApp to plus 233 55 700 90 10. Send an email to info at You can also make a regular call or send a text to plus 233 Our office hours are 10 a.m. to 1600 hours GMT. Finally, write to us, share your testimony and how this broadcast has been a blessing to you. Are you in need of money? Is there something you want to buy or someone you have to pay? Then this revolutionary book, Cryptocurrency by Kakrabaden, is what you are looking for. It will unlock sources of money you have but don't know you possess. You are just a book away from turning your finances around. Order the book, Cryptocurrency, How to Profit from Free Labor, through the following means. Place your order on Facebook by posting Order Cryptocurrency in the comment section or message window.